A record-breaking bridge linking Europe and Asia has opened in Turkey, spanning the Dardanelles Strait. Australians were crucial in its construction, working alongside Turkish teams near Gallipoli. Stretching across the strait and into history, over a waterway steeped in significance, the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge. <laughs> Opened by the Turkish president in the Dardanelles with fighter jets soaring overhead. The longest suspension bridge in the world links Turkey's west and east from Gallipoli to Lepsiki, spanning just over two kilometres. Its towers stand 318 metres above the water, that height rich in symbolism, referencing March 18, 1915. One of Turkey's greatest World War I victories, the Ottomans defeating a naval attack by Allied forces. This led to the ill-fated landing at Gallipoli a few weeks later where thousands of Australian and New Zealand soldiers lost their lives. An Australian crane company helped build the towers, working alongside Turks on what it calls a peace project for the region. The fact that it was in Gallipoli, I mean, the significance of that was not lost on any of us, and including the Turks. The Turks are, you know, as proud of the heritage that sits in Gallipoli as, as what Australians are. So it was a really great way to sort of, you know, bring us all together. The men from Mars, use the world's heaviest cranes, each weighing more than an A380 aircraft to help complete the feat of engineering. It was a really difficult project. It was a, an amazing challenge for us. A trip between the two continents cut from an hour and a half to six minutes in a project symbolising the journey from war to peace. In London, Brett McLeod, Nine News.